Welcome to Hillrom's tutorial on proning patients using safe patient handling and mobility equipment. Proning patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome may increase oxygenation and reduce mortality, but the practice is difficult to perform manually. Safe patient handling and mobility equipment can make proning feasible by taking away the heavy lifting and allowing you to protect your patients. In this tutorial, you will see a new method proposed by Hillrom using Hillrom's Lico HandyTube Long Manual Reposition Aid, along with three care team members, to get your patient in the prone position. Special caution should always be considered to reduce risk of accidental extubation, line and tube dislodgement, or any other challenge associated with manually positioning patients. Before we get started, it is important to note that every patient handling situation is different. Consider these variables when it comes to your patient. Size, morphology, weight, and condition. Hillrom has designed soft accessory products to transfer and reposition patients with trained caregivers using their best clinical judgment to implement the use of these products. Before proning a patient, Make sure the patient meets the inclusion criteria per your facility's policy for the procedure. Raise the bed to a good working height for the care team and lower the side rails. The care team member at the head of the bed will manage the airway and monitor the entire procedure. Plan which direction the patient will turn. Adjust equipment, attached tubing, leads, and lines so there is enough slack during the movement. In this example, we show turning the patient onto their left side into prone. The direction to turn the patient is at the discretion of the care team. The care team member on the left side of the patient will tuck one pillow underneath the left hip area and another pillow underneath the lower legs of the patient. Tuck the patient's left arm underneath the left buttock to manage the arm during the turn, being careful to manage lines and prevent displacement. The care team member on the right side of the patient will tuck the HandyTube Long Manual Reposition Aid underneath the patient, being careful to include coverage from the shoulders to the heels. Press the HandyTube down against the mattress at the same time that you slide it underneath the patient. Try to position the HandyTube as far underneath the patient as possible. The HandyTube prevents friction during the lateral transfer to the edge of the bed prior to turning the patient into prone position. On a count of three, the team will slide the patient from the center of the bed to the right side of the bed. Once the patient is in position at the side of the bed, the care team may reapply any electrodes that were in place prior to turning the patient to the prone position. When ready to complete the prone process, the care team member on the right side will maneuver the handy tube by lifting the sheet in an upward vertical motion. The patient will gently roll onto the pre-placed pillows. At this time, the care team will ensure that all lines and tubes are patent and electrodes are attached. An additional pillow or foam block may be used to support the face once the turn is complete. Carefully remove the handy tube by pulling the fabric from underneath the patient until it completely releases. Please note, the handy tube long manual reposition aid is not made of breathable fabric and should not be left under the patient. The process can be performed in the same manner to return the patient from the prone position to supine. If you have any questions, please visit hillrom.com and select Contact Us for local contact numbers and office locations. Thank you for all that you do to help protect patients by mobilizing earlier and often.